really not that bad. Don't touch me. I know it looks big and scary at first, but I'm sure you'll love it here. Jackie? Jackie! Shelley. Thanks, Elaine. This way. Could uh, you keep an eye on her for me, please? The new kid? Mm. Sure, if you make it worth my while. What do you want? A big bar of chocolate. Okay, but only if Jackie's still here tomorrow. A piece of cake. Welcome to the home time for God. Come far. Elaine brought her in the payment bill. Let me guess, did she say? I know it looks big and scary at first. <laughs> Been anyone like this before? You're just gonna stand there then? You do speak English. <laughs> you could take your jacket off if you want. No thanks. I'm not staying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just. No, I guess you're right. But you get fostered right off. What? I'm not getting fostered. What's in the tin? Some crisp fibers. Some crisps. Leave it. She doesn't have to tell. Leave it. She doesn't have to tell. It's OK. We all knew once. Let me explain. We're all friends here and friends here. Oi, give it back! Oh, oh, give back to her, Michael. Get out! It's mine! Oh, 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 is this your idea of a welcome? In my office now. We'll see if I can't find something for you to do. <laughs> and she needs looking after. <laughs> so, what's in there? The crown jewels? Anyway, this is the swamp. Or bathroom, as some people like to call it. You put your wash bag here. And your toothbrush here, and... Sorry, I'm not boring you, am I? It's just, there's no point. I'm not staying. Well, in case you change your mind, I'll, I'll show you outside. Where is she? Did you see her? Where'd she go? Who? Jackie, the new girl. She went that way. Oh, trust me, if she says she's not staying, believe her. What's she playing at? Doesn't like it here, I guess. But where's she trying to get to? Who knows? You were always dreaming up some crazy escape, thinking your mum was coming. Now, Probably nothing in it but rubbish. Right, so why do you care, Nosy? She might show Crash. Crash is her friend. Sticks up for her. Michael. What? I'm just saying it'd be nice for him to have a friend. What's wrong with that? Leave it. Probably quite lonely, being Crash. No visitors, no mates. No chance leaving here, ever. Easy, easy. Breathe. Put the plate down. Not another word from you for the rest of this meal. Right. So, now you know why we call him Crash? Well, I think that's horrible. I think you're all horrible. Tracy, that's not yours. But you 
you think I'm a piece as well? No. Well, that's a first. Actually, you're the only one around here that makes any sense so far. It's the others I don't get. They're okay. No one exactly planned on getting dumped here. Why don't you just leave? What? And miss my night to pick the bedtime story? Well, at least you're not a burglar. I was just getting a glass of water. Mm-hmm. With your rucksack and trainers? I can't keep you here. This isn't secure accommodation. But I'd really like you to stay. So are we clear? Yeah. No more testing the limits? No. Good. I was a bit iffy at first, but I think I like it here. Can I have my glass of water now? Sure. Staying, come on. Now, I don't want to tell you how to do your job. Good. But you're doing this all wrong. So, why don't you let me have a word with her? You think you know it all, don't you? It was just friendly advice. Keep it! Look, I'm just trying to help. Well, then leave me alone. I don't need friends, especially not a creep like you. All figured out, eh? How do you do that? What now? I have an idea. Come on, Duke, what's all this about? You lot don't get enough exercise. Ha, you can talk. It's with a new kid, isn't it? But we just want to make it feel included. It's Tracy's idea. Right on the spot. Ready? What's the matter? Why you can't keep up with the girl? Come on, Steph. Come on, put some babies. No. Nice one, Tracy. Four. I'm amazed you got her to lead a session. Uh, no one can resist being the boss. Four. Come on, you lot. One, two, three. Come on, Come on, I really enjoyed that. Well, it's not finished yet. It's time for the cross country race now. Oh, oh I'm too tired. Tell you what, you can sit this one out. Oh, I'm tired, Jackie. <laughs> Makes it look so easy, doesn't she? You idiots! She's off again. Quick, oh. get after! Out of the way. At least we get to see what's in that tin. I need to have a backpack. Hey! That's mine! No, it's not. But this is. Hey! What kept you? 
Might have known it'd be you. No one's taking me back this time. I'm not gonna try. I just thought you might like this. I haven't looked in it, honest. And by the way, I am not a Greek. My grandpa gave it to me. He got it during the Commonwealth Games after the war. He won the marathon. And then they put him in a home. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just old. No one's listening to us. Please look after you. Oh, no, no, you're trying to run back to him. Why didn't you tell anyone? No one asked. Well, you did it all wrong. What? I told you I don't need any help. Fine. Make it easy for them then. Run away and I'll keep on bringing you back. I'm not staying. I didn't say you have to, but you have to pick the right moment. Why not stay around a day or two? Surprise when they least expect it. Yes. Oh, that is so disgusting. Better luck next time, Bozo. <laughs> a muscle. No, 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 no. And for the six billionth time, no! Could you please come back here and discuss this with me, Rashmi, like a sensible human being? Tracy! You're only supposed to be living here temporarily! You've got to get out and start meeting some new families. And what if I don't want to? What if I like things just as they are? We all have to move on. OK, so why don't you bog off to Australia? They're responsible and conscientious and very well-meaning. They're both social workers. Look, Elaine, if you really cared about me, you'd let me choose what's for us to go with them with. All right. But no, you're not a real professional, are you? You're a skanky wind bucket with a face like a shriveled up baked bean. Tracy, I said all right. What? You choose who you like best and I'll fix up a meeting. Really? You mean it? Well, it's not quite the official approach, but everyone on the list is fully vetted, so I can't see any harm in it. There you go. It's down to you now. OK. I, I might not have time today. Well, Louise is visiting and I haven't seen her in ages, so... Are you making excuses now? Of course not. This lot will be fighting over me. Roll up, roll up! Bargain of the century! Who will foster this... show Justine about all the places we've been. Sharing a room with Annie. My hamsters. Lou, maybe you shouldn't boast too much about things. Why not? Well, it might upset your friends. They still live here, remember? Oh, I never thought of that. Louise! Hello! <laughs> Hello, Louise. Hello. This is Morris. I'm oh, Shelley. Oh, you've got CDs. Great. Can't wait to listen to them. <gasps> I've got this new nail kit. You can do my nails and I can do your nails. And maybe we can go out some if you like. I have to go soon. 
<laughs> you just got here. Besides, you hardly ever come round. It's difficult. I like to stay. It's just... What? Well, I'm not allowed to go to the Boronel Park, my foster family. Jackie, this is Louise. She used to live here, but she's been fostered now. Mm, lucky you. Not really. Fostering's pretty hard going sometimes. Yeah, it's horrible living somewhere you hate. Mmm, it's horrible. You can always come back here. You can have my room any time. I'm not staying long in this dump. Ow, 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 you're lucky, Louise. You've got Mum and Dad to look after you. Oh, they never make a fuss on me, Dolly. Why? Because they've got four other children, so they're really busy. I thought you said they were going to take you to the park. Yeah, but I'd much rather stay here. You should have rang me if you weren't happy. Uh, they don't let me use the phone. You're joking. They're not allowed to do that. But they do. Oh, and they're really, really horrible. You lot are much better off back here in the dumping ground. Louise, time to go. Bye then. Have fun. Sorry, couple number one. Thank you and good night. What are you doing? Sorting out my new foster parents. Is Louise here yet? She's already been and gone. What? Thanks for telling me. Louise is really miserable. Justine's gonna go into the lane and try to get her back. Are you coming to help? You've got to help Louise. She hates the Morrisons. Yeah, she did look really um nervous. Well, Mrs. Morris was just telling me how well she's settling in. Don't say you've fallen for that one too, Shelley. What are you talking about, Tracy? It is so obvious an amoeba could even work it out. A what? The Morrises are only pretending to be nice and normal in front of unsuspecting and stupid adults such as social workers and care home employees. But really, they're hiding a horrible and unspeakable truth. Just projecting all your own bad feelings about fostering onto Louise's situation. No, I'm not. Well, have you chosen your family from the list I gave you? I really need to get on and sort out a meeting. Well, actually, Elaine, I have decided. Oh, good. Yes, after carefully weighing up the pros and cons of each family and finding out what a, <clears throat> a wonderful time Louise is having, I've decided that fostering is the worst idea since homework. So, I won't be meeting any of your sad losers. And I'm going home soon, so you better not even think about putting me up for fostering. And if you two aren't going to do anything about Louise, then we certainly will. So there! <laughs> Girls. She's refusing to even consider fostering now, Duke. I don't know what's going to happen to Tracy. Really, I don't. She'll be OK, Elaine. She's an actual born survivor. She's got more bounce in her than a kangaroo on a pogo stick. For our next dedication, we have Tracy on the line. Hi. I'd like a request from my friend Louise. She's been forced to live with these really horrible foster parents, and that's so nasty to her. I I'll handle this, Duke. Tracy! Hunger strike. Yeah! yeah. I don't know. Everyone except him. Nobody eats till Louise is free. Yeah! Mmm, yeah. shame. I thought you might not fancy fish fingers, so I cooked up a few treats. Chocolate cake! Pizza! Great! Wait! What about our hunger strike? Think of Louise! Come on, you lot. This is our one chance to change the course of someone's life. Our one chance to save a miserable victim from the horrors of fostering. So who's with me? 
Tracy, life's hard. And then it's over. Well, I'm never giving in. Mm. You sure about that? Positive. Justine. I can hold out just as long as Trace Speaker. Oh, I'm stuffed. You need a good run around the park. Yeah. Duke, can we go to Pond Park this afternoon? Okay. Great. Justine! Now, you're going to promise not to run away again, OK? I'm not promising anything. Elaine, if you could just keep an eye on Jackie, just in case. Duke, can we get some ice cream, please? No ice cream, no. Oh, what? Come on, Duke. Oh, oh, Elaine, let's go for a brisk walk around the park. Come on. Oh, I'm oh, Tracy. Justine, I'm not talking to you. Three pieces of cake you shoved down your fat gob. Tracy, wake up and smell the milkshake. Your week's is in the park with the manky Morrises. All we've got to do is find out where and rescue her. <laughs> at all. They're the best thing that's ever, ever happened to me in my whole life. I just didn't want to hurt your feelings this morning. I didn't want you all to think I was showing off or boasting. Do you realise we've been on a hunger strike for you? I'm sorry. Louise, you made me think you were in trouble. I'm so sorry. Come on, let's go. I hate you, Louise. Can't we make up? Please? These are undertakers, Tracy, and that was a lollipop lady. Tracy, Tracy I, I want to have a serious talk with you. you. You need to work on your fostering fears. Now, I'm prepared to offer you a weekly therapy session. No, thanks, Elaine. Tracy, you have to face your fears and... This one. Sorry? Well, they don't believe in giving children sweets. And they don't have a garden. And she's got a moustache. Justine, Louise and Jackie have been helping me make my final decision. This is the lucky family I'm prepared to meet with a view to fostering me. You'll give fostering a try? Well, worked for Louise, didn't it? Yes, yes it did. So if you'd stop faffing about and book up a meeting, we might be able to get something sorted. 
Well, go on. Chop, chop.